This is Brianna again with Kids Discover, and this is part two of the previous video about art expression. Now, in the previous video, we talked about the history of art and how art is kind of made up into periods. The period we focused on was post-impressionism. Bright colors, very clear, curvy lines, and different types of ways to paint. So two of them were big, broad brush strokes with lots of paint on it, or a little bit of paint at a time, dot, 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 to create the image. Now, the artist that we featured the most was Vincent Van Gogh. If you don't know a lot about him, I can show you at least what he believed he looked like. A self-portrait, right here. Look at that guy. Look at those lines. Look at that. Oh. Vincent was a very interesting character and he had a very unique outlook on life and I really liked his art so that's what we're kind of going to mimic today and the piece that we're going to mimic is um, a very famous one of his not his most famous but one of his most famous it is called Starry Night you see it right here sorry it's not a little closer let me get you a closer look are you ready there it is and I want to point out a couple of things. See all those lines? Really clear lines happening in that moon right there. You can see all of it. And the village down below. And then this really big tree. It's called a cypress tree. And what you're seeing is post-impressionist uh, artistry. It is bright colors, clear lines, curvy lines, and Lots of paint, broad brush strokes. So he used very broad brush strokes going in. And then he came in later and he added extra color on top. So we are going to mimic Starry Night today. You can do it any way you want. But the first thing we have to do is we have to have either a pencil, a pen, a crayon, or a marker because we're going to sketch out what we want to paint. Sometimes when you paint, you want to sketch what you're thinking first because that'll give you a clear view of what you want to do. Now, I want to point out something again about Starry Night. There's three grounds in it. Let me show you. The first one is the cypress tree that is in the foreground. That means it's up at the front. And then you see the village right there? That's in the middle ground. So instead of the front, it's right in the middle of the page. And then finally, the background. All of this is background. See, it's behind the foreground. So it is in the back. So you've got four, middle, and then back. So with your pencil, pen, marker, or crayon, I want you guys to grab a picture of this starry night and I want you to look at it as you sketch it out. So you may start sketching out the moon and the stars and the wind in the background. Or you may start in the middle and start with the mini village. Or start with a really big cypress up front so you can see it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with the background because I think that's the prettiest part, but that's just me. You start where you want, okay? So, let's see here. Here, big line. Went like this. Nope. There we go. Ha! So there's the first part. You can't really see it very well, but there it is. It's the wind! And then I'm going to do this, the moon right here up in the top circle. And the moon, all you have to do is make a circle as best you can because that's where the moon's going to go. And you can sketch a little crescent moon if you want. Um, I'm not very good at those. One. And then, ooh, he had a real crescent there. You can erase if you want or just don't even bother because you're going to paint over everything. Here we go. I'm going to... There. <laughs> There's my moon. <laughs> all right, all right, so I've got the background. I'm gonna do some waviness here for the hills in the back. I'm just gonna wave a little bit, there it is. And then the village. So when you're gonna do the village, I wanna point out something real quick. What's the thing you see the most with the village? I see the steeple right there. It's almost in the middle of the page. It's very important. So start with that steeple and go boop, boop, there it is. Just make a quick little triangle looking like that, right there. And then go from there. So a little steeple, right here, down, and 
back over, another one here. More villages. Ooh, this is fun actually. I hope you guys are having fun with this. It's challenging me just a little bit because I don't usually do art. I'm not I'm not a huge art person, but I figure since we're all kind of looking for things to do, art is the fun thing to do. Ooh, that one's got stripes. Cool. So I'm doing stuff in the in the middle ground that's coming into the foreground. Let's see here. Okay. And then other little houses have this. Here are windows. Here there's one more house. That one's got a gable on it. Oh my goodness. He was all over the place. I love this. This is fun. Hmm. Here, houses there. All right, I've got my village. Doesn't have to be fancy. There it is. And then let's do the big tall tree. All right, here we go. And it goes almost all the way up to the top of the page. Whew, there it is. So I'm going over a lot of things. Um, see if you can kind of see, my cypress goes through all of my other pieces of, of uh, sketching and that is okay. It's meant to, because remember it's in the foreground so it's going to cover up all of that stuff that I did in the background. So it's okay. And then just add a couple lines wherever you want to, because um, remember a cypress looks kind of like this, um, like you know how trees look when you make a tree. Um, you can do that with the cypress. So, and then I'm going to kind of make this look. There we go. Add a little bit more there. Show this up here. This one is added right up here. There we go. And, and then a bunch of, bunch of uh, trees in the background here. And I'm just going to indicate them with little little lines. They're all in a row. There we go. Right like that. There's all the bushes and the trees that are kind of in the middle ground, background. Sweet! We're done sketching! If you need a little bit more time, go ahead and pause the video. It's perfectly fine. Time for some paint. Now, the best part about paint is that you can mix it. And you guys all know what colors can be mixed where and what. And I've got, oh my goodness, I should have, there it is, haha. -ha. I have all the colors. You may have whichever colors you wish to have. They'll be lots of fun. And you do not have to mimic exactly what um, Vincent uh, painted because that's not what we're doing. Today we're just practicing being a post-impressionist artist. So however you want to do that, you may do it. I don't know. Uh huh. That one's stuck. Let's try this one. <laughs> and then, of course, remember, colors can mix. There we go. And one other thing you need: a glass and water. Why? Well, you gotta take the paint off, don't you? Yeah in order to get more paint. So I've got two brushes here. One of them is a very small one. This one you're going to use with your black paint because that's going to give you the outline of what you're drawing, okay? And this one you're going to use with all the rest of your paint because this one is going to be like the big broad brush strokes. Or you can use just this one and dot everything. Would you dot with this one? Mm, probably not, it's a little bit thicker. You want to go with as small as you can for the dots. If you're using dots. Other than that, use both of them. Okay, here we go. I wet mine down just a little bit. There we go. And take a little bit of black. Here we are. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. Broad strokes. Broad strokes. All the way up. And 
then, then, then. This is, I wonder how you're doing. I would love to see what you guys all come up with. So please make sure to post your own image to the Siouxland Facebook page and let us know what you did with your Van Gogh painting. I would love to see it. I bet they're really cool. And there, okay. There's my Cypress. Got him all done. Okay, now it's time to go on to another color. I know what I wanna do. Now, so since I'm done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. I'm gonna rinse it off. And then I'm gonna lay it on a paper towel, okay? Because you don't want to leave your brushes in the in the water. You just don't want to do that. You want to take care of your brushes, okay? So now we're gonna do oh, we're gonna do the moon. I think that'd be so much fun. Here we go. And the moon is a bright, bright yellow for me. There it is. So cool. Bam. There's my moon. I might add a little bit of yellow and a little bit of green to this moon. So let's take a little bit of green and a little bit of yellow and I wanna see if I can make it really, really a very bright green here. And circle that moon, maybe a little bit of blue. Oh, that would be so cool, look at that. So you see what I'm doing right there, right there in the middle? I'm just mixing a color. I'm gonna have a little bit more blue, there it is. And we're gonna make a very fun Ooh, border for this moon. There it is. Look at that. Looks just like the picture. <laughs> and then I'm probably going to add some black to some green. So let's do that. I want to make a really dark green here. So when you add black to your color, you can kind of get a really nice darker color of the, of the color. So like green and black make a very dark green. So I'm going to do this. There we go. And then over here too. And then the cypress itself is Know you're doing well too. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. All right, so I don't need the green anymore. I need blue. So put your brush in the water, brush it off, kind of swirl it around a little bit. If you need to use your fingers to, to kind of get it off, that's okay too, okay? Don't worry, it's not gonna hurt you. And you'll have a you'll have a towel over here to wipe it off. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now that we've got that wiped off, here we go. Now I just need blue. So I'm gonna take a blue again, and this time I'm gonna add, hmm, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to that blue. It's gonna make green again. Should probably have grabbed white, but I don't have white. So let's see if I can do kind of a nice greenish blue. Oh. That looks so pretty. Whee. Remember to make lots of lines with this because you want to have a lot more blue. There it is. You can make lines wherever you need to. There. Okay, now I definitely need more blue. So put your, put your uh, brush in here, swirl around. I need another paper towel over here. That's okay. Grab as many paper towels as you think you need. Okay, so now I need more blue. Here we go. 
There it is. So I'm gonna do just blue this time. Here we go. Whoosh, whoosh. And follow the lines you made um, because sometimes that'll give you a really cool look. Doesn't that look cool? All right, and then more blue here, circle there, come on back. There it is. And then I'm gonna do some blue here, here, and here for that. Now that blue, I'm going to create a little bit of a darker blue. So there we go. There it is. Sweet. Okay. And then when you're all ready, it's time to do the houses. This will be fun. Steeple first. I decided I was gonna use orange for this because I kind of enjoy the color orange. There they are. And then down, down, down. There. And then there's the steeple all the way up. Sweet, okay. Now it's time for the black again. Or you can use any other color and I'm gonna kind of just mark these out with a little bit of pink or red because it's kind of fun to think about. And boop. All right, everybody, time to show off your work. Voila, Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night according to you and me. I hope you had a lot of fun. Go ahead and like I said, post, show us your pictures and have fun being a post-impressionist artist. Bye.